Hey guys, EXO here. This is just a supplementary video for my engraving guide. So if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link for it in the description box below. Please enjoy. In this video, I'll be going over how class engravings can affect the playstyle of a class, demonstrating this with my main, Soul Fist. Before I can explain how class engravings change the class, I'll first need to give you a breakdown of the class. Soul Fist is a hybrid martial artist, specializing in both melee attacks and ranged energy attacks. There are two aspects to this class's identity, its unique skill resource called Ki and its core class mechanic, its power-up system called Hype. Ki is a resource that only exists on this class. It has a cap of 1000 and a steady rate of regeneration. Using abilities depletes the Ki meter and if you reach zero, you'll enter a fatigue state and be locked out of using abilities until the meter recharges to full. During this fatigue state, your key recovery rate is increased. The interesting thing to know about key is that it doesn't operate like a typical resource pool. For example, if I use one of my most expensive abilities, Wind Hall Blast, you can see it drains more than half of my key. Now, if I'm in a low key state and try it again, you can see the skill is still cast, even though I'm well below the key cost. As long as your key isn't zero and you're not in the fatigue state, you can cast an ability. This is the important point to remember when I begin to go over the class engravings later in the video. Hype is the main aspect of the Soul Fist identity. When activated, it restores a small amount of key and provides a temporary buff that grants increased attack speed, increased attack damage, and cooldown reduction. Hype can be activated by pressing Z. When your hype buff expires, there will be a lockout period that will prevent you from reactivating the buff. Reactivating the buff before it expires will grant a higher level of the buff. Activating or reactivating the buff also immediately ends the fatigue state allowing you access to your skills. Hype has three levels which can be achieved, with each subsequent level offering a more powerful version of the buff with a shorter duration and a longer lockout period upon expiration. In order to reach the third level of the buff, you will need to go through level 1 and 2. While you don't need to wait their entire duration, you still need to activate them sequentially in order to reach Hype level 3. Bear this in mind when I begin to explain the class engravings. Without its class engraving, Soul Fist plays like a sustained DPS. As you carefully manage your skill use in order to avoid entering the fatigue state, activating your Hype buff to end it in the event of poor resource management. You spend most of your time in Hype state 1 and 2 to avoid the long lockout of level 3 going up to stage 3 when the opportunity presents itself to unload all your damage on the boss. Like all classes in the game, Soul Fist has two class engravings. Each of the Soul Fist class engravings affects one aspect of the class's identity. Meridian Reconstruction, as it's called in the translated version of the game, affects how the key works while Heaven Defying Body affects the hype. Meridian Reconstruction prevents your key from going below 1 and provides a damage increase while your key is below 30%. It also disables the key recovered when activating Hype. The damage increase provided by this engraving goes up to 15% at level 3. With this engraving, you are no longer able to enter the fatigue state since your key can never be depleted. This is very good since you can freely cast any ability no matter the cost so long as you have key. Since the damage bonus is only applied when you are below 30% key, it encourages you to use a sustained DPS playstyle focusing on attack speed and cooldown reduction so you can keep your key below 30% in order to get the benefit of the 15% damage increase. Heaven Defying Body allows you to bypass levels 1 and 2 when activating Hype and puts you directly into level 3. It also provides an additional damage increase and 200% increased key recovery rate while in your Hype state. This damage increase caps out at 30% at engraving level 3. The natural 60% damage increase from Hype level 3 coupled with a 30% damage increase from Heaven Defying Body level 3 grants you up to a 90% damage increase in your hype state while also providing you with enough key regeneration to unload all your skills without worry of entering the fatigue state. This engraving encourages a burst playstyle that sees you waiting for openings on the boss to buff yourself up and deal some of the highest burst damage in the game. I hope this video shed some light on what I meant when I said that class engravings can affect the playstyle of a class. How they affect the class is different for each class as each class has their own identity and their own class engravings. If you'd like to see a demonstration of the various class engravings available at launch, I'll leave a link in the description to Canon's video 
where he demonstrates the class engravings for each class available at NA launch. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like, as it really helps with the growth and visibility of the channel. And if you like my guide videos, you could also subscribe, as I'll be making guide videos explaining all the endgame systems in Lost Ark. I also stream Lost Dark three times a week at twitch.tv slash exodusgames, so feel free to come by and say hi. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your journey through Arcasia.